Good afternoon, I'm Susan McCord. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. Today's topic is, why am I so jealous of my partner's friendships? Well, the first thing is, you know there's a problem. So that's a good thing. But what isn't good about it is jealousy can cause so many problems in a relationship. You want to come to a situation that is that works well for both of you. If your partner is constantly going out and seeing people all the time and you're staying at home waiting for them to come back, that's going to cause a lot of friction. Is there something that your partner has recently started doing with one or more of the friendships that's threatening your partnership? Is that what you're feeling? Are you feeling that there's something that has changed the way you interact with your, your partner at home because of this? If this is the case, this definitely needs to be talked about. You can't let something like this go and hope it dissipates. But if it's a very separate friendship from your relationship, that's where the problems can come into jealousy. Because they're spending time outside your home with somebody that you're not included to be with. That's where it happens. If they come back from uh, an evening out with this, this friend and they're excited, they have such a great time and they're telling you all these wonderful things and your own relationship at home maybe doesn't have that much excitement going on, this is going to make you feel insecure because you have a right to your feelings. If you're feeling jealous, maybe there is something going on that's, that's changed and you're not prepared for this. You're not you're not equipped on how to handle the situation because maybe they just don't get it. Maybe they don't realize because you've always been so great about it. Maybe they don't realize that it's developed into more of a friendship that they're seeing them more and more and more and you're feeling sort of left in the dust. And this happens quite a bit in relationships, friendships. And it doesn't mean anything's going on. There's no cheating or anything like that, but it doesn't mean that you're not feeling that could be a possibility. And that's what you need to nip in the butt right away is find out what is going on here. Why are you feeling threatened by these friends? The one thing is good to figure out too, is this a new jealousy or is this something you've always had with your partner, but maybe it's just getting a little bit more now? Because if you've always had a jealousy with them, there might be something that you both have in your relationship or don't have in your relationship is more what I should say here, because there's something missing that you don't feel secure. You feel jealous that your, your partner has outside people. It would be very natural to be jealous of a friend that is spending more time with your partner than you are. That would be pretty unacceptable and something that anybody would be jealous about. Anybody would be heard about that their partner's not looking at that picture. It's really important for you to have your own life as well. And you want to have good things going on so that you don't feel this, this insecurity if your partner's busy doing something that makes them happy and enjoyable in their life. Because we're, we're partners, but we don't own each other. We're not, we have outside interests and other things in our life that we like to do. So if your partner is you feel they've got so much more going on in their life, They're, everything's working for them and happening for them and it's not happening for you and that's another reason maybe you're getting a little bit jealous, you have to step up in your own world. You gotta make things happen for you because it's not fair if your partner's doing really well and they're happy about things and then you're getting jealous about it because you can make things happen for yourself too. And that's the important part about a, a relationship and how you evolve together is that you understand the importance of making yourself happy too. It's not just all relying on your partner to make you happy because a lot of times jealousy is due to insecurities or something that's shifted within our relationship and we don't feel as connected to our partner. That's what you have to bring back. So in closing here, it, it is really important that you sit down and talk about friendship boundaries. You need to have a little bit of that, both of you. It's not fair just to assume your partner's going to be okay every time. Oh, I'm heading out tonight. I'm going out. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. You have to have a, a, a nice sort of talk about what's okay, what's acceptable, and what's not acceptable. 
Also, I suggest that you make date nights with each other and have fun together because maybe something's changed. Maybe you're not doing that as much. So your partner feels like they're having more fun with their friends outside of your relationship. And that's not okay. You want to make sure that you're always feeling like you're the number one priority in their life and make sure that you're making an effort to, to be that person and that you do offer suggestions to get out and to have some fun so that they look forward to coming home and seeing you more than their friends because you're a blast to hang out with. You've got great things to talk about. You've got a lot of energy to give to your partner. So don't ignore your feelings. Don't take a back seat to your partner's friendships. You should always be in the top billing here. And please, if something is continually happening, you've got to sit down and talk about it. It's not going to get better if you just let it fester. So thank you so much for tuning in today. Please leave your comments, please subscribe. And if you have any show topics, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave it in the comment section below the video. Thank you so much, everyone. Bye-bye.